everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome I post videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday and today I'm showing you the top 10 jackets you need in your wardrobe this fall so today is actually my birthday I'm turning 21 years old and I thought what better way to celebrate my birthday than talking about my favorite things jackets are my favorite things in the fall and the winter for me it's really important that I have a lot of versatility in my jacket wardrobe and that I can wear different jackets every day that may seem a little bit excessive but when you're buying affordable jackets and not jackets that are each five or six hundred dollars it is definitely feasible I would much rather have all these jackets which probably add up to the price of one really expensive jacket and be able to mix and match them every single day than have one really expensive jacket that I have to wear every single day so you'll see in here there's a lot of dupes for more expensive brands like acne and max Mara so without further ado let's jump right into it I know I have more than 10 jackets here but I wanted to kind of give you different options for the same style. Another thing I wanna say is that when you see a jacket you like, you should really jump on it just because it's not guaranteed to be around. You cannot sleep on these jackets. You need to pick them up right away just because if you wait till the middle or the end of the season, they will be gone. So the first jacket is this one right here. This one was so loved last year. I got this at H&M. It is a biker moto jacket. I like that it's longer. It covers your butt. It keeps you really warm. This is a jacket I can wear into the colder winter months and it still keeps me really warm. It has a really nice thick interior. It has the belt and this is just overall a really popular jacket to wear over your shoulders or as an actual jacket. I have it in so many styles, textures, fabrics from everywhere. They had them at Zara last year, H&M. I see them everywhere. They have them online so you'll definitely be able to find one but this is a staple in your outfit that you 100% need. The next jacket is a leather jacket. So I get a lot of questions about what leather jackets I wear. Do I wear expensive ones? Do I wear cheap ones? Where do I get my leather jackets? For a long time, I really actually didn't like leather jackets. I didn't like, I thought it was just a lot going on, but now that my hair is lighter, I really do like the look of leather jackets. So this is my favorite leather jacket. It is from Zara. It's the, from their real leather line. I think it was around $150, which is expensive for Zara, but it is their real leather. The only leather jacket that fit all of my requirements. I don't like too strong of a shoulder. I don't like when there's too many buckles or things going on. So this little belt and the zippers are perfect. I also don't like when it goes in too much. This I really like wearing over my shoulders. You wanna wear like thicker sweaters underneath. You could not get a size small. You need to size up. Haha, <laughs> okay, so this was all the rage last year and I guarantee you people are still gonna be wearing it this year. This is from Shein, but they have them everywhere now. This is a jacket you cannot sleep on because they will sell out. They were sold out for so long and you guys had such a hard time finding them, but they are back in stock at a lot of places. I know Meshki has them. I know Shein has them. H&M I saw them. So if you want to get a jacket, a teddy bear jacket like this, I would definitely recommend picking one up now. I can't get over how comfortable it is, how warm it is, how much it dresses up an outfit. I want to get a black one. My sister Ali has a black one from H&M and she wears it all the time. Yeah. Alrighty, so the next jacket I have is from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing has really amazing jackets that are affordable. This is like a waterfall trench coat. You guys saw this so often last year in my um, vlogs. I love wearing this with high, uh, high waisted boots thigh high boots. I love wearing this with um, running shoes. So many different ways to wear this. It has a belt. A lot of you guys ask me how I get it to the perfect length because I am five foot one and I did have it shortened. This was from the petite section and I still had to get it shortened but I think this jacket was like 20 to 30 dollars. Like it was not expensive. It's not warm. You're gonna freeze your ass off if you wear this in the cold winter months. This is the newest jacket in my collection. It is from ASOS Petite. I got a size US2 and it is a wool kind of jacket. It is goes to the perfect length on me. I definitely don't need to have this shortened. I didn't have any of these like straight cut jackets so I wanted to pick one up. I want to try to find one like this in black but this with an all black outfit with boots, this with jeans, like this color with jeans looks so nice. It's beige but a little bit more on the pinky side. It doesn't have more of that orange tone. It has more of the pinky tones. The only thing I don't like is that the pockets aren't real pockets and I love my pockets. And when you're short it's really hard to find jackets like this so all of these jackets are short girl friendly. Take a shot every time I say jacket please. You'll be dead. Don't actually do that. I feel so girly when I wear this. I feel like my life has been put together when I wear this, even though it hasn't. I feel like it has. 
All right, so this jacket was a hit in my Zara haul. You guys loved it, you guys ordered it, and I wanted to talk about these because they commonly go missed in these jacket videos. People don't consider this a jacket, but in September and October, when it might not be cold enough to wear a complete jacket or coat, you need something still, and this is perfect. It's thicker than a blouse, but it's not quite a coat. It's also perfect if you live in a climate that doesn't get too cold. This corduroy, I promise you, it's going to be everything. Corduroy is coming back. I always think of corduroy bear, but it's coming back, I promise you. The next jackets are bomber jackets. Bomber jackets, I know, they're never gonna fail me. They're always gonna be there for me. I have two that I have. This one is from Topshop. Out of the two, I like this one more just because it's more relaxed. Okay, so next I have jean jackets. I've separated my jean jackets into two categories because they're completely different and you'll see why. The first category is cropped jean jackets. I think even if you have a regular jean jacket, you need a cropped one. These are perfect to wear with other jeans. They cut you off at the perfect spot to really cinch and flatter your waist. And it just looks so good with denim, with leggings, so casual. This one's from Zara, I showed it in my Zara haul and you guys loved it. This was, I think it was $50. Definitely worth the buy though because you can wear this so many different ways, casual. You can dress it up with a pair of heels and make it edgy. Don't even get me started. This is like my favorite purchase so far this fall. I see that about everything though, so. The ninth category are also denim jackets, but different kinds. So these, I don't like the standard length denim jacket. I don't own one, I don't want one. If you wear one, that's 100% fine. Wear what makes you feel best. But for me, I just don't like it. I find it makes me look awkward. It cuts me off at the wrong spot. I really like a longer denim jacket, one that goes past your butt. This one is from ASOS. ASOS has amazing jackets. I got it maybe two years ago. I wear it all the time. I got it in a UK 6. So yeah, something that is a little bit longer. I just find it more flattering. Uh, you can wear it off the shoulder, around your elbows. It's really nice as well. So yeah, something a little bit longer. I think like a normal jean jacket would maybe come up to here, so it's about that much longer than a normal jean jacket. Or I also really like, this is a denim jacket that I wear when I wanna give that edgy look, a little maybe, I wanna say rocker look, but that's, that's not right. It is a black jean jacket, but this is like a distressed kind of black jean jacket. Not in the sense that it has like holes or anything, but it's kind of like washed and it looks a little bit worn. You can see uh, here it looks a little bit worn. It's a little bit gray in some spots. You can adjust the buttons and make the back pop up more. And this is also from ASOS. This is in a UK 8. I got a little bit oversized. With an all black outfit or even with a nude top underneath, this color looks really good with nude. I think everyone needs this color denim jacket in their life. It gives a whole different look than a denim jacket, like a classic denim jacket. And also the two different styles. You have the vintage oversized kind of grungy I want to say look and then you have this longer one which is like looks like it's been attacked and eaten by like a zombie but it's the vibe it's what I'm going for the last kind of jacket are puffer jackets and these are really popular they're everywhere pretty little thing has so many puffer jackets they're just really popular this is great if you live in an area that is a little bit cooler a little bit colder especially in like November when it's getting really cold outside you might want something that's a little bit warmer than like some of these over here. really like the shiny materials. I have one from Zara, and you can find them anywhere. I have one in gray as well, and I also have one in nude. All right, you guys, so those were it. My top 10 jacket picks that you need for this fall. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you were already wearing some of these jackets or what your favorite jacket is if I miss one. I feel like I covered it all. You know, I feel like everything you need is in this jacket selection. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Your love and support does not go unnoticed. I love you more than anything, and I can't believe we're we're almost at 100k. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification, and I will see you back here on Friday.